Welcome to Lab 4, Cell Transport. Make sure you do this lab after your lecture and all, uh, yeah, and after your lecture, and then do the quiz after you've done the lab. Okay, so let's begin. You're going to go to this website, and it's going to walk you through a pretty simple experiment where you put in some dialysis tubing into different dialysis bags, and then you put them in different concentrations of um, sugar. What you're going to submit is some questions, uh, and they come in three or just two categories. Uh, category one is your initial set of questions. So basically, the website is going to direct you to direct you to do some things, and once you're finished doing those things, you're going to answer some questions that are titled on a slide later in this PPT initial set of questions. I'll show you them. And then uh, at some point it's going to say, now you got to wait for 24 hours. After you have waited for 24 hours, you answer the data collection after 24 hours questions. Finally, you've got four of those quizzes, similar to uh, one, uh, one, uh, a quiz that you did earlier, where you just go to a website. It's um, Mont McGraw Hill. Um, you go to the website and you submit those quizzes. Uh, you need to submit them each with a minimum score of 80%. What you're going to submit, uh, please um, turn in your numbered uh, question. So don't make me guess what question you're answering. Number it. Uh, numbered questions and the answers and screenshots of your uh, quiz result on a Word or PDF document or um, on Blackboard. Um, this is the initial setup, and this is about what it's going to look like. Uh, you'll see this is sort of uh, your lab bench here, and uh, up at the top, it is going to direct you to do various things, and essentially, you're just going to be kind of, uh, like you say, grab this uh, uh, beaker A, put it on the scale, or maybe put it on the lab bench, and then it'll direct you to do something else, and then you kind of just grab the other thing. How you grab them is you just hold the... the the mouse on it uh, for a second and then it'll uh, let you grab it and you can move it. Pretty simple. Then you press continue. Here are those initial setup questions. I recommend giving them a read uh, before you do the initial setup. This lab is a very simple lab. Uh, it's an exam week so I'm not putting uh, you through a super stressful lab. Um, pretty simple, four questions. You got to answer them. Uh, so read through them, and then as you go through it, the the initial setup, this will be really clear. Um, it basically it even asks you to write down some of these things. It's really simple. Next, uh, it asks you to wait 24 hours, and then after that, it'll direct you to do some other things, and then you answer these questions. You know, I think I got the numbering a little wrong there. That's okay. You guys can figure it out. You're a smart bunch. Uh, finally. The McGraw-Hill animation quizzes, uh, they are, again, pretty simple. You're going to go to each of the following links, watch the animation, take the quiz, and submit a screenshot of your score. Minimum score for each quiz is 80%. Take a screenshot of your score and paste it into a Word document. So you just have these four links. Uh, this one is on uh, simple diffusion. The second one is facilitated diffusion. The third is osmosis. And the fourth is the sodium potassium pump. Uh, these, uh, this is a somewhat unusual lab. As I said, it's a, it's an exam week. And I know the online thing is stressing some of you out, as is perhaps the difficulty of the course. Uh, these, um, are much more rapid ways of getting some of this content, uh, taught. It's also a way of doing a lab uh, that really is going to support you learning the vocabulary and idea that you're going to need for your next test that will be coming up later in the course, the second test. Um, all right, just one more slide, and that's an example of one of the screenshots. So we've done this before, um, results reporter, and you can take the quiz over and over again. I managed to get all of them right. I'm so proud of myself. So you're going to just submit four of these. This is the, I think the second one, uh, how facilitated diffusion works. You watch it, it's maybe two minutes long, then you answer some questions. I uh, hope you enjoy these animations and that you find them useful for understanding the lecture material. Uh, and feel free to post in Blackboard if you have any questions.